I am Dr. John Grather. This video will present a simple three-step marking system that generates precise corneal ink marks for toric lens placement. The two instrument set includes a degree gauge with bars on the back surface aligned on the horizontal and vertical axes and a half circle marker that fits precisely inside the ring of the degree gauge. First, a single dot is placed at the 6 o'clock limbus during the eye preparation with the patient upright. Next, the degree gauge is centered over the cornea with the vertical bar aligned on the dot. Finally, the half circle marker is placed within the ring to create the lines that consistently lie directly over the correctly positioned toric lens. In this first case, after inking the half circle marker, the inferior axis bar is placed directly over the ink dots at 6 o'clock and the degree gauge is centered on the cornea. The half circle marker is aligned on the indicated plus cylinder axis and applied to the cornea to create ink marks at each end of a line transecting the center of the cornea. As the ink lines are separated by 6 millimeters, they can be used to determine the size of the capsulotomy beneath them. Ideally, the capsulotomy should just cover the edge of the toric lens optic. The lens is injected into the capsule and is oriented 10 or 15 degrees short of the desired axis. After the viscoelastic is removed, it is rotated into the correct alignment with the dots on the lens directly under the axis lines. In the second case, the cardinal axes were also marked by inking the bars on the degree gauge for precise placement of the temporal corneal incision. The four bars also elevate and help maintain accurate centering of the degree gauge on the cornea. In this instance, the cardinal axis lines created were also compared to anatomic features noted in a photograph of the eye taken preoperatively to doubly assure correct axis alignment. To speed axis identification, the face of the degree gauge was marked on the minus axis. Then the index alignment at the center of the half circle marker was aligned on that mark and the handle rotated toward the cornea to bring the marking bars against the plus axis 90 degrees away. With that method, only one point on the degree gauge need be identified. Once again, if the degree gauge remains centered on the cornea, the lines will always be placed at each end of the diameter line bisecting the cornea. Note that during the entire marking sequence, the corneal surface remains visible. A little viscote applied to the marks will aid in their retention during phaco emulsification. The incision is made temporally and the cataract removed with the surgeon's standard technique. Note that the incision was placed exactly on the marked horizontal axis to comply with the computer calculation of the optimum axis for the lens implant. The lens is injected into the capsule and rotated 10 or 15 degrees short of the final position. Viscoelastic is removed from behind the lens, but may be left in the anterior chamber until the final position is achieved. When the lens is correctly positioned, the index dots on the lens surface will be aligned exactly under the inside edge of the corneal ink marks.
This marking system has been used in 15 toric cases with excellent refractive results. The axis alignment has been verified in several cases by comparing the intended axis to a red reflex slit lamp photo of the implanted toric lens. Thanks for your attention. I hope you will find this method helpful to you in utilizing this very significant advance in lens implant technology.